Dr. Reedhead, the president of the Sudan mission, was put out of the mission a couple weeks ago because he received the Holy Ghost and spoke in tongues as the Spirit gave him utterance. That's right. Dr. Donald Lee, the great Southern Baptist, sat in my room the other day and said, Brother Abraham, I have just been poured out my heart and the Holy Ghost come upon me and said I was walking in the rooms and I couldn't even speak English no more. What is it? Redemption is here, brother. Man's hearts are failing for fear. Be filled with the Spirit, your lamp trimmed and clear. Look up! Your redemption is here. That's right. We're at the end age. It'll be light in the evening time. The path of glory you will surely find. Is that right? In this last day, as the sun is setting, God's pulling out of the Gentiles, Methodists, Baptists, Presbyterians, Luther's fundamentals, and all, bring them over here. Or he's going to take a people out of the Gentiles for his name. Then he will close off the Gentile dispensation, return to the Jews, the rapture will come to the church, and home she'll go. Great signs and wonders. Look up! You are the Holy Roller? <laughs> yes, sir. Brother, I went through everything for this. I love our Lord. I, I love Him with all my heart. I don't care what the world says. They turn me out of church. They say, well, Billy, you're crazy. You had a nightmare. What would you eat for supper? I had the pleasure of telling Dr. Davis the other day what he called fanaticism in South Africa where he made it one day's altar call and 30,000 received Jesus Christ. That's more than all the missions put together has won to Christ in the past hundred years. The general orders of a missionary is tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, not down in some cemetery or seminary or whatever you want, both dead places. <laughs> all right. Tell ye in the city of Jerusalem until you're in due with an education. No. Until you learn theology. No. Until you're in due with power from on high. After this, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Then you'll be witnesses of me in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and Chicago, Illinois, are to the uttermost parts of the earth. Right. That's the truth. Oh, God bless your heart. Now I feel religious. I feel it. I feel that the Lord has filled me with His Holy Spirit. I'm setting in a bunch of sons and daughters of God where anything can take place. Hallelujah. Yes, I've had to fight a long time, come down a long way. But some of these days I realize I got to preach my last sermon. What I want to say is, Paul, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. And in that day, I was even almost turned from my home. The people of the city, they thought I'd gone crazy. The church turned me out. Everything else, but just no more. It's a little thing to what those early martyrs and saints had to go through to put that seed down there what Jesus Christ died at Calvary to bring life into his church in the last days. Notice, one of these days I'm coming to my last bar patch, Joe. I don't know how far it'll be down the road. I got to come down there someday. Each one of you has. One of these days... When I've taken my last mountain, come through my last river, and come on down there to the, all the broad patches and thickets like Israel did coming to the promised land, perhaps if I live to be old and Jesus tarries, all the Brandons, when they get old, they take the paws, they just shake. Old granddad and all of them. I probably have a string of little white hair hanging down around my face, an old wrinkled man. If I live that long, many here will be an eternity long time before that. I may be too, but if I live to see that, I can imagine seeing myself after I fought my last battle, declared to be a holy roll of the last time. Hallelujah. And here the roads come, by true heart I try to preach Jesus Christ. I want to know him the power of his resurrection. And when he calls from among the dead, I'll come out. And I get down to the end of the road, I feel that cold wave breaking in the face. I know Jordan lays you under before me. Oh my. I'll tell you how I feel. I want to look back down the road of come. Oh, that'll be a great day for me. <laughs> look back down the road. See every one of them broad patches I had to come through with. When they call me Holy Lord, they call me everything. I fought right on through with the sword of peace. Moving right on through. Making a way for those who are coming behind. I'm an old man, man. 
man standing there on my cane, shaking with palsy. My eyes are dimming. I feel Jordan's waves floating in my face. I want to look back down the way, take off my helmet of salvation, lay it down on the beach, unbuckle my armor of faith, I want to take the old sword here and stick it back in the sheath of eternity, raise up my hands and say, Father, send out the lifeboat this morning, for I'm coming home. Across the river on the other side, I'll meet with those who are holy rollers and who have contended for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. May God grant each one of you, I give you an invitation today to come to Him. And on that side down there where the breezes are cool, where the evergreen tree is standing out each side of the river, and the leaves are for the healings of the nation, may we meet there at the river and serve Him and live with Him. I'll not be an old man when I step across the place. God gave me a body. I grew up to about 23. I was my best. It's failing now. 20 more years has passed. I begin to get feel my age. I know my shoulders are stooping. Now I know it ain't too many days out yonder till I shall see him who I love. I try. I got loved ones waiting at the other shore yonder. No matter how old I am or how wrinkled I am or how gone I am or how gray my hair is, when these feet of mine shall touch that blissful shore, I'll in a twinkling of an eye be changed. I'll be a young man again. Hallelujah. Never to die, never to be sick, but to live forever. The reward of the just waits for each believer. I trust that you are this afternoon while we bow our heads for a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, the ways growing drear, precious Lord, linger near. I pray that you'll be with us, be with this audience, Lord, as seeing that the day of redemption is at hand, knowing not what tomorrow holds, but knowing this one thing that anchored in my soul, oh God, when I think of a poor lost boy, undone, alienated from God, raised in a sinful home, sitting out yonder a creek bank with a pole in my hand, crying, no peace. The great wind blowing through the trees, saying there's the land beyond the river. I'm so thankful that you saved me. And today in my heart, Lord, it's such a privilege to get to tell others and to see that the work is confirmed by your great hand of a vindication with signs and wonders following. How I thank you for this. Help us, Lord. God bless the poor sinner in here today, the backslider. The unregenerated, that church member, Hallelujah. standing over there, oh yes, they know the Bible, so does Satan. The devil believes and trembles. Many of them, Father, saying that Abraham believed God and it was imputed to him for righteousness, but Lord, you give him the seal of circumcision as a sign. And when a man is truly believing, I believe, Father, that you seal him with the sign of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Grieve not this Holy Spirit, whereby you're sealed into the day of your redemption. God, be merciful today when you're showing the greatest signs that you've ever showed since you were on earth in a body of flesh. I pray that you'll bless this audience as we wait on thee, Lord, and I pray that many will make their decision to be filled with thy spirit, for we ask it in Jesus' name, and while you have your heads down, and every person in prayer, think of it now. Are you really filled with the Holy Spirit? Are you in the kingdom of God? Or are you just a strictly a fundamental believer? God's never vindicated anything to you yet. Oh, step away from that tree. Get over on the other side here where the powers of God is moving.